Sometimes you're quite happily going about your day when you suddenly realize you have absolutely nothing to do. Sure, there's technically always something you should be doing, but those things are usually boring and are best avoided. Bored. No. Bored. The people in this video had a bit too much time on their hands, but instead of doing nothing, they decided to do some of the most interesting and unusual things possible. Ready to see them? Let's get it on! Offices are probably the place you're most likely to find yourself with nothing to do, or even find yourself procrastinating on the thing you're meant to be doing. Don't worry, we won't tell your boss. So, what do you do if you find yourself just staring at the wall? Make it less boring. This office has invented post-it note murals. It probably kept these bored office workers busy for hours. It's got everything you need. Plus, you can't get in trouble with the boss like you would if you painted the wall. It takes up hours of your time, and you then have something to look at when you're done. It's simple, but very effective. Dice can be used in any number of time-wasting games. We've all lost a rainy afternoon or two playing Monopoly, but have you ever thought of just using the dice to fill your free time? This man uses dice to build huge portraits, and it's amazing! We have no idea how long it took him to work out how to use the dots on the dice in just the right way to create shading on his portraits, but it must have been hours. They're so good they could almost be photographs. We have no idea how he does it, but we do know it's a great way to spend all his time, even if he never gets to work. If you're bored, why don't you go hiking? It's good for you. Not your cup of tea? Then why don't you take some time to freak out a few hikers? This guy has some amazing talent, which he's chosen to use to blow the minds of passersby. His illusion painting skills are second to none, and putting it out in nature makes it even more interesting. Just as art, it's pretty amazing. But just picture the faces of anyone who walks past without knowing he was there painting that for hours. You have to wonder how many people crawled through the bushes to get a closer look. They'll probably never see the world the same way again after glimpsing the floating tree out of the corner of their eye. Creativity can appear in surprising places, and sometimes the most interesting creatives can make amazing things out of commonplace objects. This Lego wall is already cool just as an interior design statement, but if you know what you're doing, you can find all its hidden rooms with little scenes frozen in time inside them. One is modeled after a nightclub in LA. Another shows a little Lego man being abducted by aliens while his Lego friend takes a selfie in front of it. There's also a paradise room with lights that can change colors. If you keep going, you'll even find a tiny version of the actual house it's in inside it, like Lego Inception. Why? Who knows? But it's pretty cool. Your kitchen's overloaded with time-wasting objects. Try building a complex piece of Pringle art. Or maybe you want to test your sculpting skills by turning a banana into a lifelike Darth Vader. Otherwise, if you're as weird as this person, you could take all the seeds out of a strawberry for no reason at all. Maybe you want to use all your spare time to exercise, but you don't like going to the gym. Or you can't choose between a workout and art. This guy came up with a solution. He makes art by exercising without a gym in sight. He makes snow murals, huge ones, and all he needs to make them is his snowshoes. It takes him about 40,000 steps to make one snow drawing, so he's definitely getting a good workout, and he can only do about 5,000 steps in an hour. That means he can waste a whole day of free time on just one drawing. So between the exercise, the art, and the time wasting, this is a multi-benefit hobby. Sitting on the toilet? Try braiding your toilet paper. If you have kids or maybe some housemates that love their arts and crafts, then you have a wealth of time wasting objects at your disposal. Gather all their pencils and turn them into a huge tower. Or steal just one sheet of paper and spend the next few hours turning it into an intricate hummingbird like this. No, we don't know how. Just wing it. Some people find they have too much time and decide to use it to improve something in the world. Or they do this. This is a road legal sofa car. It's both bizarre and actually quite amazing. Ed China really went all out when inventing it, insisting that it looks like a normal sofa in a living room while still still offering all the features needed on a normal car. Anything you can think of that needs to be on a car is hidden there somewhere. Most obviously, the pizza tray is the steering wheel, but everything else has a purpose too. The clock hides a speedometer. The Turkish delight slides to change gears. The can of Guinness is an old-fashioned fly-off handbrake. The ignition and other essentials are hidden under the specific fabric cover. Imagine riding around on that thing. I can't tell if it's crazy or brilliant. At work? No problem! We have tips for you too. If you're a car mechanic, you can build a gorilla out of tires. Work in the logging industry? You can always aim for perfection. And if you work in construction, you can always build a life-size gorilla out of nails. Or at least you can try. <laughs> we wouldn't manage it.
If we still haven't given you enough ideas about how you can waste your time, here are a few more. First, have a look at what you have lying around your house. You know that annoying collection of coins you have in a bowl or at the bottom of your bag? Try making a sculpture out of them. You might have memories of painting a picture of your family in a spare hour of your childhood. But what if you're an adult with 210 hours to waste? You can still do a portrait of your dad, right? <laughs> That's what this guy did. He wanted to create a portrait of his dad, but he gave himself a bit of a challenge. He decided to do it entirely out of tiny ink dots. It's an actual art form called pointillism, and it's definitely something most of us don't have the skill or patience to execute. So 3.2 million tiny dots later, and he has an amazing portrait of his dad. Pretty impressive. It's not just office workers that get bored though. You might have a more dangerous job than someone in accounting, like a job that makes use of heavy machinery, but if you do the same thing every day, you're bound to get tired of it. There's always an opportunity to use what you have creatively though. Why not play tic-tac-toe with construction vehicles? That combines the ultimate time-wasting game with a giant machine that could potentially cause someone's death. A truly perfect combination and very entertaining. So, you're the kind of person who wastes so much time that you don't bother to do basic things like wash your car. Normal, boring people would wash it when it gets dirty, but there has to be something better to do with it, like learning how to paint with the dust. This guy obviously got so good at dust painting that he moved beyond his own car and now has to ambush strangers' cars that are innocently parked outside a supermarket. At least he's really good at it, or who knows how many angry car owners he would have to face on a daily basis. No matter what life throws at you, there's always time for a bit of fun. If you have enough time on your hands, you can do just about anything. And this guy proves it. You like skateboarding, but you're in a wheelchair? <laughs> no problem. Well, he makes it look like it's no problem. We don't actually know how he does that, but one thing's for sure, he's been practicing a lot. So now we know for certain that if you have the time to practice enough, it really does make perfect, even if the thing you're practicing is supposed to be impossible prefer spending money in making art, you might want to turn to this guy for advice. He makes artworks out of dollar bills. It's a shockingly painstaking process though, because before he can even start making his complex collages, he has to cut up the dollar bills into their tiny component parts using a scalpel. Then he takes hundreds of the tiny pieces and sticks them all back together again into elaborate scenes discussing capitalism and the American dream. It's more than most of us have achieved in a spare hour. Every now and again, you see someone do something useless so well you wish there was an Olympic category for it. Like maybe they can skip stones really far, or clean windows really fast, or perhaps you won an office chair race and think you can go pro. This woman could win gold with her unique and useless skill, broom twirling. She's incredible at it. Any of us mere mortals would hit ourselves in the face with the broom handle on the first flip, but she can handle that broom like she's trained it. Maybe she's a real witch, or maybe that broom is the one from Fantasia. Asia. Those are our best guesses, but we'll never know for sure. Ever found an abundance of something in your house? Like four bottles of the same spice that you never use except for failed experiments? Or a load of plastic cups left over after that party? We don't know where this guy got all these cups, but we do know that tower is made up of 3,000 of them. It must have taken ages to build and a lot of patience would have been required. Unfortunately, patience always runs out at some point. He should have paused to come up with a better way to put the last few cups on the top of his pyramid rather than falling off the ladder. Too late now though. Some people just like building things. Usually life gets in the way of that kind of thing, but if you have time to spare and only one spot of land to build on, what do you do? Just build one house and be done with it? <laughs> That's crazy. No, you build lots of houses, as many as you want, but just stack them on top of each other. This is the Goose Creek Tower, and it's been in the making for over a decade now. This beautiful fairy tale house was built without proper blueprints, and it stretches 185 feet into the sky. That's about as many houses you can stack on top of each other before you get into federal airspace in Alaska, where it's built. It offers a 300 mile, 360 degree view of the surroundings and occasionally the northern lights. So it's not hard to see how stacking houses can become a bit addictive. What do you do if you're a whole team of great basketball players but don't have a team to play against? You could just do a normal practice session, but that gets boring when you do it every day. It's probably better to show off instead. This amazing team clearly did put a lot of practice in. 
game, but most of that practice probably went into getting this well-orchestrated stunt to run smoothly. One wrong move and players will be landing on top of each other or not jumping at exactly the right moment to catch the ball in mid-air. They perform it so it looks effortless. Nobody puts a wrong foot the whole way through and they finish with a bang. That's some very impressive time wasting. Psst. Hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shout outs we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. If you want to be shouted out in our next upcoming video as well as the ones prior, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below saying, pick me. Once you're at it, you might as well leave a like too.